Hey everyone, this is Randy from BibleBuyingGuide.com. Today I'm taking a look at the NASB Scripture Study Notebooks from Steadfast Bibles. 316 Publishing sent me these for review. And they are neat. Really neat. Like most of the individual volumes of uh, journal editions, it does have the cardboard cover. And if, you, if you're familiar with most journal editions, you'll be familiar with what these are like except for a couple of differences one being the size they are quite a bit larger than all of the other journals we'll compare in it just a little bit but they do have the same materials they are sewn binding they are the uh, probably about a hundred gsm paper i don't know for sure but that you can you can convince me that's a hundred gsm and each book is an individual book of the bible except for a couple those that are really small will have multiple in it and like most they do have a page of text bible text on one side and the lined pages on the other so let's just take a look what's different about this one this is the 1995 nesb and it is verse by verse let's see i think they say a 10 point font here's the information about this 10 point font although it does read a little smaller than that to my eye but i don't know how they're measuring it so i'm not going to argue about that but there's the information, six and a half by nine and a half inches, lay flat, sewn binding, one and a quarter inch wide margin on, on the, the inner and outer margin. Top and bottom depends on the, uh, what's on that page. And what's on that page is going to change based on paragraphs. They try to put a paragraph per page. Now, there are some that are going to have a few more paragraphs because paragraphs are so small. And there are some that will have more verses because paragraphs are so large. So, you're going to see a few that have just a few. And the paragraphs are marked with a bold verse number. So, there are some that have just a few verses. And there are some that have quite a bit. They have about 12 words per line. It's a verse-by-verse -verse setting. And this has more space between the lines and more space between the verses than I've seen in any of these journal editions. It has an eighth of an inch between the lines and a quarter inch between the verses. Across the top we have the book name, chapter number, and the verses that are on the page. And then in the inner margin we have a heading for that page. There are no section headings in the text. They're just on the page. And there's some writing that I've done. Now, I'm using a pen. Let me show you what I'm using. I am using a 01 Pigma Micron purple. I usually don't like to use just plain black, hot different colors, because they look a little bit different from the text, and it just looks better to me. So, anyway, uh, here's what my Pigma Micron looks on this line, on this page, and then on that page, there's barely any show through at all. I have to look for it. So show through, just, there's hardly any show through on this paper. It's white in color, slightly off-white maybe, slightly dulled, which I like. No shine, no glare, easy to turn, easy to read. The font itself, it's about a medium in darkness. I wouldn't mind if it were a touch darker, but it's good enough. It does not have footnotes, but it does have italics for supplied words, a poetic setting, Old Testament quotes are in all caps. I like that. I like that they kept that. That's one of the features that I like in the NASB. In the front and in the back are several pages for notes. And these are good, of course, for creating your own index or creating list, topical list, anything like that. These pages are great for sermon outlines. There's so much space on here. There's more space on in this than in any of the journal editions. There's enough space for complete sermon outlines, for taking notes in sermons, uh, for doing a group study in the same volume. So multiple people can write in this. And just all kinds of notes that you can create. And there's the stitching. So it's sewn. The books of Paul are printed in a shiny and a metallic green. James is in blue. 
you know, what they sent me was what they currently have, which is mostly the books of Paul. And then uh, in February, they will have the entire New Testament. In the front of each book is this page. This is added because they want to protect this first sheet from this page in shipping. They have it in the front and in the back. Now this can be used, it's different paper than this, but not, not a lot different. It can be used for um, making notes, it can be used as a bookmark, it can be used for putting behind a page in case you're afraid your marker will go through or something like that. Or you can just toss them, it's all good. And then take a look at how it compares to some of these others. This is the New King James uh, Journal Bibles, I forgot the names of them. The New King James Journal Notebooks. They have a larger print. The paper is about the same. I'll zoom so you can see. And here is the lines. This is the tighter lines, more like a college rule. These are a little bit larger lines. And all of the other journals are the same size as this one. Here is the CSB Scripture Journal Notebook. Now the paper in the CSB is more of a creamy color. And there's the font. And the lines are the same size. So here's how they look. And here is the ESV. There's how they compare. The, the paper in this one is also the creamy color. The font is slightly larger. Paper in all of them are about are similar in thickness. And here's how that one compares and the ruled lines. So So these scripture study notebooks are amazing. I love these. I can't wait to see the rest of them. One thing I like about these over all of the others, I actually like that they're larger. Now, all of these, of course, are easy to carry and all that. But the fact that these are larger means that you have a lot of space. You have more space in these than in any of them. They're easy to preach from, easy to read from. If you're taking notes... This is what I like. I wouldn't mind seeing the um, footnotes back in there. Pages in the back. Yeah, this is excellent. So I'll place a link in the notes where you can make a purchase if you're interested. And also I'll place a link to the written review at BibleBuyingGuide.com that will have more information. And thanks for watching.